everybody, it's Tammy. Um, I haven't done a video in quite a while, so I thought I'd do a quick one for you guys um, that are still watching this. I don't know if anybody still watches this. Um, but it gives me something to do because I took off work early today because I had a massive headache. It's been going on for like two days now. Um, <laughs> it's not as bad today. Last night it felt like somebody like stabbed me with an ice pick through the eye to like the middle of my head and just kept twisting it. Oh, dude, I cried. It was bad. Um, <laughs> and today I woke up with the headache again. And uh, it's not as bad, but it got bad enough while I was at work to make me want to go home. So, I'm home. Hi, B. Hi, B. Um, Bailey's happy that I'm here. Um, <laughs> but anyway, just a quick, hey, how you been? Uh, here's what's up kind of thing going on. Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna do pretty much like the same stuff I always do, but like a combination, knock it off. Um, so yeah, uh, hair. Um, as you can see, my hair is doing its lovely froey thing today because I didn't feel like twisting it the last couple of days, so it's just on its own. Um, I did cut an inch off, um, not on purpose. <laughs> I decided to give myself a trim, um, and. Uh, I cut it like this, so then I had to even it up, which resulted in me cutting off like an inch of my hair. Um, but it's growing. It is now to here. It was to like here. But oh well. Um, it's growing. That's a good thing. Um, what I've discovered this past week that I love. Um, and it was cheap. Suave. Right? Suave. Um, this is Suave Almond and Shea Butter Condition. It's not like, you know, entirely all natural, but this leaves my hair feeling amazing. And I was reading in, uh, what is it, the Black Girls with Long Hair dot com, whatever, I can't remember. Um, but the Black Girls with Long Hair forum thing about uh, conditioner and whether we need deep conditioning or don't need deep conditioning and how much of it's actually getting into our hair and it was saying something along the lines of um, using a conditioner with oils in it because the oils will help the conditioner actually penetrate to your hair. I don't know. I was kind of sort of paying attention but this is good stuff. I like it a lot. Um, I actually like this better than that beautiful curl stuff I was using. Um, it was two bucks. I like cheap. Um, huh. I'm on a budget now. Um, I did get a job. Yay me. I'm actually working back at a company I used to work at, um, which is cool, but I'm a temp for like a year, but they have a couple positions opening up, so I'm probably going to be permanent soon. Fingers crossed. Um, still no car. I'm okay with that right now. Um, it'll do. Uh, okay. Um, Sorry, everything's on the floor. Uh, I tried this. Um, there's a girl in my apartment complex uh, office that uses this, and she likes it. I don't. Uh, Lock and Twist Gel. Um, what is it? Natural Hair Care Organic Root Stimulator Lock and Twist Gel Cream Formula. I don't like it. I don't like it. I used it on my twists, and I don't feel like it really held them much. And it was just. It left a residue. I'm not a fan. Um, I hate to throw this away, but I'm going to. Um, bum, 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 yes. I am using Argan Oil. Uh, this one is by what is it? One and Only. Um, I was reading that Argan Oil and Coconut Oil are like really good to actually penetrate the hair shaft and keep the moisture in and whatnot. Um, I've been using coconut oil and I still, I don't feel like there's a difference really going on with that. Uh, but this stuff, good stuff. Um, I do mix uh, coconut oil in with my other stuff. Um, and I've been doing like homemade, like pre-shampoo or pre-co-wash treatments, I guess. Um, I think I told you guys normally I'll use like a banana, honey, and oil and all that kind of stuff. Well, I tried avocado. Uh, last week? Was it last week? Yeah, it was last week. Um, 
I don't normally like avocado because I don't eat avocado, so I don't normally buy them. Um, but I guess it did okay in my hair. Like, you know, my hair was shiny and soft and whatnot. But uh, even though I used the blender, I still had to pick avocado bits out of my hair, which was kind of like picking banana bits out of my hair, which really sucked. Um, but I was reading somewhere, probably that same form, that uh, to buy banana baby food which won't leave chunks of crap in my hair. So I'm probably going to do that next time. Because uh, I like the banana. Um, I feel like it did more for me than the avocado. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if my hair is protein sensitive or not. I'm not sure. Um, it has been really dry lately, but I also put color in it. Bad me, but yeah. I was trying something different. Uh, didn't work out right. Um, I'm auburn instead of red whole long story, don't worry about it. Um, but anyway, I did some color in my hair, it's been really dry, so I've been, you know, super moisturizing it, and it seems to be doing okay, it's still growing and doing its thing. Uh, okay, so that's hair stuff. Um, tea. My current tea of choice. Also from Tivana, as is this lovely tin. I have so many of these. Um, it's a mixture of two teas. Uh, they have that like thing where you walk by Tivana and they're like sampling and giving out samples of tea and they happen to have this and I love it. It's uh, white Ayurvedic chai and samurai chai mate mixed. It's delicious. Uh, very cinnamony. Um, hello. Looks like that. Mmm. It's very good. Um, I think the girl that sold it to me said something about it being an appetite suppressant. I, I like to eat, so I have lost weight. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that. It's been so long since I did a video. Um, I've lost 26 pounds. I might have regained some of it because I've been eating a lot of junk food recently. Oops. Um, but, uh, I don't think I gained a lot of it because my pants are still really loose, so. I don't know. I can't find my scale. I moved and it's somewhere. I own somewhere. Um. Yeah. I think every time I do a video, I'm going to recommend a hair thing, a tea thing, a movie thing, and a book thing. That's going to be like my new deal or something because I have nothing really. I don't do shopping hauls anymore. Um, I don't go shopping much on a budget. Um, but anyway. Movie recommendation. This Korean film called The Man From Nowhere. So good. So good. Uh, it's basically this guy. I don't want to give away too much of the story. Basically this, you know, loner, lives in a building, like an apartment building, and uh, this little girl has become like his little friend, you know, a little confidant, little buddy. Um, and her mom is like a druggie or whatever and she does some stuff and the little girl gets kidnapped and this guy goes on like a rampage to get this girl back and it's so good. Um, I love vengeance films, um, particularly Korean vengeance films. They're brilliant. Um, but I, lo I love this movie. Love it. I've seen it four times and that was before I bought it. Um, okay. So, that's my movie recommendation. And my book recommendation, still using the nook. Um, what am I reading now? What am I reading now? Ah. For this one, it could also be a TV recommendation because it was made into a series by HBO. If I can get the pull up. <laughs> Sorry, I keep hitting the wrong button. Um, but the... Wow, I've heard a lot of this. Uh, hang on, just trying to pull up the uh, cover for you guys. I know you're in here. There it is. Game of Thrones. The TV show was so good. Um, and I was all disappointed because I waited to watch it until it was like on demand. And it was really good. And now I have to wait until 2012 for it to come back on. Boo. Um, <laughs> but it's really good, and I said I was going to wait to read the book series until the TV show was over, like I'm doing with Dexter, but 
Yeah, whatever. I ran out of stuff I felt like reading. So I am now reading this. Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin. Check out the show. It's good. There's dragons. Um, I like dragons. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's what's up. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do another video. Maybe next week. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, if anybody's watching this, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.